What's up guys, James Mastos here. We got a lot of wind right now. We're headed into an area, there's a apartment complex on fire or something like that. Uh, hopefully everybody's gonna be okay. You got Brevard County Sheriff's Office on scene here and then um, they're gonna be coming down and trying to put out this fire, it looks like. It's like a full garage fire and a house fire right there. Sucks to see this. Unfortunately, this, this sucks to lose a house like this. It doesn't take much. Fire department's on scene here, and we got news media over here already taking a spot at it. As you can see, they're out here. We got Deputy Carpenter here one more time. She's over there. So it looks just like a, in the garage. Fast and quick. And it looks like right now, fire department probably saved this other house over here. They're here pretty quick. The fire department's one, uh, maybe one mile. I got here on the scooter pretty fast. I heard them leaving and then saw the black smoke. So they boogied over here. how fast this stuff will happen and how it will spread quick. These guys are going to make entry to the home here, it looks like. So this is Ken Aber Fire Rescue. Paramedic engine. Engine number 53. the whole neighborhood out. I was trying to find out what happened.
from the looks of it, they're dragging a line either inside or close to it. A lot of smoking on that side there. Maybe uh, they're going to go in there and pull some ceilings down. They got their pry bar. They're going to see if anything spread in the attic because that's exactly what it does. It goes quick. Got another scene come on, and they ran a hose down to the uh, fire extinguisher down there. That's pretty much what they've got. You're going to see this line charge. I'll show you what that does. It's pretty cool when it does. And if you hear a loud whistling, like that's their Scott unit, you know, their pack that shell, it starts screaming when they're not active. You'll see them scratching their back or just kind of throwing their back around. Wait, wait. Uh, so they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna charge this line here in just a second. Uh, fire truck's got about uh, 500 gallons of fuel or tank of water on there. And he's going to charge it up here in just a second. So a whole team to get some water to this thing. Here it goes. It's gonna let it come in a little bit, start to expand that hose, and it's gonna. Water's coming. There it goes. You can see it propagating down the uh, line right there. That's pretty much it. So that's going to go into the truck, feed the truck. The pump in the truck's going to pump the water out. Constant supply. That's why there's here. Your insurance is actually cheaper if you have a, a fire extinguisher or fire hydrant near you. They actually will reduce your insurance. He's got full supply now. So they just had a big flare up in here. Uh, fire's not over yet. That's the way it goes. So much heat in these house fires, everything burns. Whole crew of them like that. They're gonna hang out here for a while, I'm sure. Might be able to hear that pack screech here in a minute. So they've opened up the windows up top to get any uh, airflow out of there. Probably the whole entire inside of that house is just covered in black smoke. It's pretty much it. Anytime you have a fire like this, at all is usually a full loss. The house will be pretty much just gutted, demoed. There you go, you heard it. Well, they're gonna be working on this for a little bit here. You guys saw the meat and potatoes of this. Hope you guys appreciate it. A little bit of something different. Everybody was cool. Uh, Brevard County Sheriff's Office is really nice for uh, worrying about film. They didn't say anything. Deputy Rivera, uh, I think that's him over there. And uh, Carpenter, which is the female over there, they were all right. Just wouldn't give me what the reason for the arrest was, but on that previous video, so we'll find out. If you haven't seen that, check it out in the link in the description. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.